Hey, Stackers, what's up? Stackmaster G here. Um, a little story here before I um, show you guys what I picked up today. Um, as you uh, know, the people that um, have um, watched my videos, I'm really into the uh, vintage uh, silver. Um, one ounce bars, rounds, five ounce bars, 10 ounce bars, doesn't matter. I love the old stuff. And I called the, a bullion dealer that I've developed a, rel a relationship with over the last six months and asked him uh, if he had you know, any older bars. And he told me he had, uh, he did, he had uh, about 90 uh, one ounce, roughly 91 ounce bars, uh, a lot of angle hearts, he said, and a lot of you know, random stuff. And so I said, yeah, I'd like to come down and check it out today, um, you know, hold it for me. And uh, I said, by the way, if you have any, you know, older, you know, rounds, you know, bring those too, because he has a few stores. So he actually, um, you know, brought everything to one of his locations that's uh, closest to my home. And so I went in today and, and this is what I got. I, I couldn't believe it. Um, I picked up uh, 58 one ounce angle hard bars, which it's crazy to see that many in one place. Almost all of them are the uh, the the angle hard with the globe um, this particular bar uh, which I'm sure many of you have seen um, there were 56 of those uh, I took all of them and the other two were the um, the frosted back and another you know similar design on the front but not frosted on the back um, paid a dollar forty nine over spot for these. Uh, it was uh, seventeen and change. Um, unbelievable. I also picked up um, the uh, Johnson Matthews um, for the same price, just for for the JMs. These are pretty collectible. Um, obviously, I, I you know take advantage of these opportunities when they present themselves. Some of the more interesting bars, um, I sent Silver Buyer a picture and uh, he is pretty well versed with most vintage stuff. And even he had not seen this particular, I got two of these. It's, um, you can see the shield with the three stars as an A, C, B clockwise. And the C and the B are like, they're like reversed. Um, you can see it. Very interesting. Um, it's uh, just plain on the back. Two of these. If any of you have seen this bar, I think it's special. Um, I'd like to confirm that. And some of the other really interesting uh, pieces. This is from the Emmys. It's a 20-year um, Emmy Award silver round with a little um, dialogue on the back. Interesting piece, uh, as well as a couple um, advertisement pieces. One, uh, the company Cisco, big food distribution company. It's a very interesting piece. And uh, this is a really cool, it's a, and I happen to be a big fan of, of the older Corvettes, particularly the Stingray. It's a 77 Corvette Coupe, and it's, got, it's like a license plate on the back with the G General Motors logo. Really cool. Um, and then just some other, you know, really random stuff. The, the Oxford, which I've seen before. These all carry good premiums when you see them for sale on eBay. I'm not going to go through all of them, just kind of some of the more interesting pieces. Got a couple of the Hoffman, um, Hoffman and Hoffman uh, rounds. Um, these are not super rare, but they do fetch good premiums. Um, a bunch of the US, uh, USS Constitution rounds from 1973. I think I picked up of those one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, seven of those uh, at a buck twenty nine, buck twenty nine over spot, and um, actually, yeah, uh, eight of those. This was really cool. Nineteen eighty seven Popeye um, round. 
kind of interesting. Made by AMC. And a Tri-State Mint. These are cool. I've seen these before. Um, really cool round. And a full, actually I got a full tube of these. The Universaro, um, these are from 1972. And these actually fetch pretty good premiums. Um, I, I looked them up on eBay. Um, let's see. I don't know the full story behind these and you, you see the people on the front. Uh, I need to do a little bit of research on that, but I thought they were really cool. And then, you know, just some other really random um, one ounce, you know, rounds. I had like about maybe seven or eight of these to the Liberty. Um, I don't think these are, you know, very rare, but they are um, somewhat collectible. Um, anyway, that's that. Um, oh, one more. This is kind of neat. It says, Welcome to Boston, 1973. And um, you can see the front of it. 82nd anniversary convention of the American Numismatic Association. So just kind of some really like random interesting pieces. This is the kind of stuff that, that I love. And I also in the mail today, uh, I got uh, 14 of the uh, a, you know the USVI A mark one ounce bars. Over the holidays, I won an auction. Um, I got these for 23.48 per. You, you just can't get them that cheap um, unless you get lucky and you find these at you know in a bullion bin. But on eBay, they're much more expensive, and you know I try to shy away from high premiums. But if I can get collectible stuff like this, you know, um, at a at a reasonable price, I think twenty three forty eight is is a really good uh, price. And silver buyer confirmed that because he's he has a lot of experience selling these, but. I think I'll just leave them in the uh, packaging. Um, this is one of my favorite bars of all time. Um, and then lastly, um, I had picked up just um, 10, uh, you know, 10 Libertads. Can never have enough of these. And uh, 10 Eagles. And Provident had this. Uh, to buy this to get the free shipping. This was uh, over the Thanksgiving holiday that I bought this stuff. Um, I got a roll of Canadian silver dimes. You guys know that I love the uh, love the uh, junk silver. This you know 80 percent silver for Canada on these pre nineteen uh, pre sixty uh, seven. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, as always, um, your comments are welcome, likes, dislikes. Um, but uh, look forward to watching your videos. And uh, um, thanks for being part of the channel. Take care.